The probability of you being born is 1 in 500 trillion. You're a living, breathing mirror. The thing about time is that it comes and goes. Tomorrow will make today a distant memory and you will be one step closer to meeting your maker. What people fail to realize is that God has a plan for your life and that plan is far greater than anything you have ever imagined for yourself. Every step you take is ordered by the Lord. Every move you make is orchestrated by Him. Every breath you take is given by Him. Within you, God has put an unlimited amount of potential. You literally have the power to change the world as we know it. That's not even a far-fetched statement. You can change the world. No matter what you have been through in your life, no matter who has left you, no matter who doesn't believe in you, no matter what people around you may think about you, I want you to know that the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob believes in you. Some of you may be wondering, how do I know he believes in me? The plain and simple truth is that the very fact that you are still here is proof that he believes in you. If God didn't believe in you, you would not be here. You would not be standing where you are today. Look at all the amazing things people have achieved in this world. Many of them did not have the Holy Spirit residing in them. Now just imagine, just imagine, imagine how much more you were able to achieve. Envision all the great and extraordinary things you could accomplish. Picture the incredible things you could produce. You could reach inconceivable heights and attain insurmountable levels. Why? Because you have a God on your side. You are chosen. You are a child of the Most High God. And you have the Holy Spirit inside of you. 1 John 4 verse 4 You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. You must remember that. You must always remember that. No matter where you go or what challenges you may face, you need to remember and say to yourself, he who is in me is greater than he that is in the world. In life, we often hear about statistics that try to measure the laws of probability of people accomplishing some great feat. For instance, we often hear about the odds of becoming a professional basketball player or the odds of becoming a professional athlete or even the odds of becoming a CEO of a company. And if you want to think about your dream, the statistics are probably against you. The odds are probably not in your favor. These are the numbers that typically paint a picture of why you can't make it, of how slim your chances are of succeeding. Effectively, what odds do is make your dreams and aspirations appear as if, as if they can only be attained through some form of luck and that you as a child of God have no control over them. When you look at these numbers, they make you feel hopeless and discouraged. The problem of viewing your life that way is that it overlooks the most important element of succeeding. You have a God that is on your side. Even if you have one in one billion of a chance of attaining your goal, remember who your God is. You have a God that is not limited by the human mind. He is the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. He is the CEO of the universe, the God who numbers the stars and calls them by name, the creator of all living things. He is the architect of the universe and the heavens tremble at his name. He is not bound by the laws of physics and space and time can bend at his will. The winds and waves obey his command and his understanding stretch out the heavens. He sets the boundary between day and night and sends lightning with the rain. He hangs the earth on nothing and preserves it with his wisdom. He holds the oceans in his hands and has measured the sky with his fingers. He wraps the rain in his thick clouds and the clouds do not burst with the weight. He weighs the mountains on a balance and the hills on a scale. He is eternally wise and infinitely powerful. No chains can hold him and no mathematician can calculate him. No one can defeat him 
and no scientist can explain him away. He will never be weary and he will never be faint. The sky thunders when he speaks and the heavens roar with the rain. He's far above all principalities and power, all might and dominion, and every name that is invoked. All authority comes from God, and his understanding is without measure. The odds you are facing may be stacked against you, but remember this God that I have described is yours. And if this mighty God is for you, who can be against you? He loved you so much, he sent his only begotten son to die on your behalf so that you might have eternal life. You have the ability to do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You have what it takes to make it, regardless of the problems you may be facing. God has already given you the resources to solve that problem you are facing. And if you don't have it, ask it of him. He said in his word, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. Is anything too difficult for the Lord? Remember, that with God all things are possible. For what God has planned for you, who can frustrate it? And as for his outstretched hand, who can turn it back? There is none like him. He is great and great is his name. Two things you need to believe in. The first, you need to believe in God. Believe in his power, believe in his word. And second, believe in you. If God believes in you, what right do you have to doubt the ability God has given you? God has invested the blood of Jesus in you. Recognize your value just as God recognized your value. Look in the mirror and examine yourself. What do you believe about yourself? Do you believe you are good enough? As a man thinketh, so is he. If you believe you don't have what it takes, you won't accomplish it. But whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Remember what Jesus said in Mark 9, 23, all things are possible to him who believes. From the moment you gave your life to Christ, you are a new creature. You became a new creation. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, therefore, any, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, new has come. It's in Jesus Christ where your sins are forgiven. It's in Jesus Christ where your hurting heart is healed. It's in Jesus Christ where broken families are healed. It's in Jesus Christ where broken marriages are repaired. It's in Jesus Christ where cowards become conquerors. It's in Jesus Christ where victims become victors. It's in Jesus Christ where losers become winners. It's in Jesus Christ where dreams become reality. All things are possible to him that believeth. The Bible says in all things, you are more than a conqueror. Child of God, you are more than a conqueror. Whatever problem you are facing, keep fighting. Remember, you are more than a conqueror through him that loves you. There are times when problems come and there seems to be no answer, no way out. And in those situations, I hear the voice of Jesus saying, fight the good fight of faith. You see, faith can move the largest mountains. I've seen faith laugh at the face of defeat. According to the Bible, we are supposed to be a perpetually victorious people. We don't always feel like it. We don't always live like it. But the Bible said we are supposed to have an attitude of victory. Romans 8, 37. Yet in all things you are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens you. A conqueror is an overcome. So effectively, what Paul is saying is you will overcome whatever situation you face in life. Paul wants to remind you that you are not only conquerors, we are more than conquerors. We are not only overcomers, we are more than overcomers. Despite the problems you face, despite your circumstances, 
you face. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer. You might not feel like a conqueror today, but the Bible says you are more than a conqueror. Your peace might be gone. Your world might be rocked, but you are more than a conqueror. Things may not be going well in your life, but the Bible says you are more than an overcomer. You may have more month than you have money, but you are more than an overcomer. You may be under pressure, but you are more than an overcomer. You may be stressed from all sides, but you are more than an overcomer. No matter what you are going through, God has said you are more than an overcomer because I am with you in it. You never know how strong you are until it's your only choice. Fight the good fight of faith. Most things in life require fighting for. You have to fight to have faith. You have to fight to have hope. You have to fight things that try to weigh you down. You have to fight the fear. You have to fight the doubt. Fight the good fight of faith. God is working behind the scenes. He has already turned your situation around. God is working behind the scenes. He has already turned your situation around. It is just a matter of time until you see the change in your life. God is saying to you today, trust me, I know the future better than you know your past or present. And all things work together for the good of them that loved me and that are called to my name. You see, in life, it's not what odds are against you. It's not what enemies are against you. It's not what situation or problem is against you. The only thing that matters is who is for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? That means stuff that should normally worry you that should normally overcome you for some reason, it can't harm you. It can't take away your peace. And the reason it can't do this is because God is for you. Trust Him. Trust Him. Now the amazing thing about the human conscience is this. That even if you don't believe what I'm saying, you believe what I'm saying. That even if you reject the truth of what I'm saying, there is rooted inside you a conviction which you can suppress with the years, but which is there nonetheless, which is telling you that these things are so. And this truth is the truth which the scripture will not let us forget 